Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? It's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming, and we are back with Lemuria Free Roam for LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2. This one is a rather quick one, sort of. There was a few blunders I made on my journey, so I apologize for the couple of edits that I had to uh, bring into the big picture here. But hey, speaking of big picture, get out of the way, down in front. We are actually underwater in Lemuria. We're going to go ahead and take a quick peek on our map real quick, just to show you that we're standing right in front of the old computer terminal here. And we're going to go ahead and activate it and puke out all of those collectible locations. Now, quick shout out to Warner Brothers for hooking us up with a copy of this game. And of course, shout out to Tyler P for giving us all the collectible information that we needed. And last but not least, shout out to you for sticking with us and watching this insanely long playlist that we have for Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2. So quick links are down below in the video description if you are in a hurry to scan through and find the one you need. Now, there are a few doozies in here. And I, uh, I have to admit, they threw me for a few loops. So, uh, like I said, there are a few edits. And, you know, this isn't the worst. I've had worser levels. That's right, I said worser. As we turn around from the computer terminal and activate the gold brick monument, or statue as I've been labeling them, in Lemuria. Now, as it turns out, I still don't know that these are relevant to anything other than completing the 100%. They may have something to do with the areas. Like, you may need to complete this in order to kind of check off one of the items for the boom boss battles in some of the areas this one does not have a boom boss battle but that's okay we're gonna take on our first puzzle next which happens to be right below us i do believe now if i remember correct yep 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 all right so this one is one of the ones i struggled with there are four maybe five different points where these tentacles come kind of bouncing out. Now, I'm not sure. We don't ever see the rest of whatever this thing is. I don't know if it's a Kraken, an Octopi, or why it's down here harassing us, but we're going to go ahead and do a quick little fade to the future here. Ready? Here we go. Any second now. We're going to fly off. and Oh, there it goes. Yeah, that was kind of a rough edit. I should have put a fade in there. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe there is a fade there by now. Who knows? But you can see over on the... Well, I guess it just depends on how you're looking at things. Off to the side of where we were, we're going to find these glowing bricks that once we get up close, I thought we were going to for sure need some sort of telekinesis, but it turns out they're silver bricks. So we need somebody like Iron Man to go ahead and bust them out. And look, they come tumbling down on one of those little places where them tentacles come popping out. So uh, what the goal here is we have to block off all of the pathways and not allow these tentacle-like things to come popping out from the ground. So... Uh, I have a hard time actually even getting them to disappear at times. And usually when you knock them uh, away, the camera will generally kind of show you where they are. However, I made a mistake or two and didn't get what we were supposed to do. And it ended up like not counting. So I edited some of that stuff out. So here's another one right here. It's right up to the right on the main building if you're looking at it like I was. There happens to be a little cavern that you can jump up into and melt the wall. And look at that. Carve out a nice little cover. It drops right on top, preventing that tentacle from popping up there. And now we just got to go find the other ones, which uh, this one's kind of a pain in the tuckus. Like I said, there are a few of these that weren't super obvious to me, which I'm going to go ahead and assume may have been a little bit problematic for you guys as well. The last one is the worst. It is a puzzle that requires a certain sequence, and if you mess up the beginning, oh my goodness, it is a mess. So as it turns out, I had to do redo that puzzle probably 30 times, 25 times. I even hit up Tyler and was like, what's going on? How do I do this? And he remembered it being a pain, but did not remember the exact steps, and I really just ended up getting lucky. So speaking of getting lucky, we got to swim around and try and find some more of these. But you got to remember, you can't swim too far away, or it will reset the whole puzzle. And we definitely don't want to have to start this one over. Nope, not over there, Brian. Not over there. Uh, no, we're right up there. See, so you dropped them like they were. Oh, oh, what's this back here? All right, so right around the corner from where we use those rockets, there should be this weird kind of, uh, it's like a temple entrance or something. And look at that. There's a grapple plug on top. We'll go ahead and spam, 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 spam. Rip that down. That's right. And booyaka shall. We now have some bricks we can... 
put on top of this hole here, but we have to get rid of him. So, oh, look at this. We got some more stuffs over here. So as it turns out, there are multiple pieces, I guess, that you need here. So you got to go ahead and rip the grapple plug down in the back and use your telekinesis on the left to go ahead and move this down over too. So it turns out maybe there's two spots right there. Looks like there's two spots. Uh, you know, again, this one was a little confusing for me. It did not stand out, and, and it wasn't super obvious. So, uh, you know, it doesn't even give me, like, a little number counter. You know, like, often when you find a particular item, it'll say, you know, one of four, one of five, something like that. It doesn't give me nothing. Uh, anyhow, all right, so we've officially moved. Look at that. We've blocked off all other pathways, and he's going to go ahead and grab the final one and cover himself up. That's right. He says, forget you guys. I'm going home. All right, make sure you swim up and grab that gold brick. You do not want to have to come back and do that one over again. I know I don't want to. So next up, we've got another puzzle. And again, there's no specific order that these puzzles need to be done in. There are going to be a couple along the way, maybe not in Lemuria, but in certain areas that you're going to have to do some of the unlocked ones before the locked ones will unlock. I know that was a lot of lockage. But, uh, all right, we're moving along. We actually saw this little spot over here where we could hack in a terminal. We also get some voice telling us something about a game show. So that was kind of interesting. And we're going to go ahead and hack our way in. And this one was a little confusing, too. Luckily for me, though, there is a nice little cinematic moment where I was able to edit in and out. So I did this one. I did do this one probably three, maybe four times. And, and, and I'll be honest, the reason is once we get into the actual game show part up top here, there is, uh, you know, I, I wasn't really paying attention. There is an item that you grab that gives you points. And there is an item that you grab that takes away points. And I was grabbing them all. I was like just, I was literally like in one of those cash, you know, machines that just throws money. And I was just reaching out everywhere just trying to grab that cash and get as much as I could in the small amount of time that I had. But as it turns out, you have to get specific items. So you can see right there on the back, the old shell gives you plus one and the star gives you minus one. So again, I didn't catch that on my first couple of times, and it was terrible. As it turns out, though, I was able to figure this one out, and I do believe we have a nice little clean edit coming up that should give us the winning solution. Now, really, there's just a lot of up and down, back and forth swimming. It's all that is needed. And here we go. Three, two, one. I'm feeling like I failed this one. Yep, look at that. So uh, as it turns out, I accidentally hit the button that I was not supposed to hit. And, okay, so, yeah, you don't want to hit the circle button, even though it's telling you hit circle, or whatever icon pops up for you. It may be a little bit different, maybe B, maybe something else. Oh, no, I grabbed one of those stars. See, I got too excited. You want to just grab the shells. Leave the stars alone. Yeah, some of them are going to be kind of hard to resist or maybe right in your way. But, you know, those ones can be avoided, too. As a, a, at the end, I think I end up with, like, 23 or 24. I get more than I need. I know that. And I actually grabbed one, maybe two stars along the way. So you should have plenty of time. However, remember, you have to swim back and forth, like forward and back or up and down on your analog sticks. And it should help you get up and down and all around. Because it's kind of you got back you got all this dimension here. It's not just up, down, you know. Anyhow. Anyhow, we're getting in the home stretch now. We got two, one, and ow! I barely made it. So it turns out I didn't get any extra. But I got enough. That's all that matters. Doesn't win. It doesn't matter if you win by an inch or a mile. Winning is winning. Dominic Toretto. All right, moving along from my uh, Fast and the Furious quotes there. We're going to go ahead and collect our gold brick. And look at that. We got the minigame master completed. So we're probably going to go back and edit out all of the individual areas. However, we've had a few of you tell us that you're probably not going to need those as you've been following along in our free roam. So it just kind of depends on what other games come out, how much time we have once we complete the main core that we want to finish here. We do have a new game coming out. Warner Brothers contacted us and is sending us a new game that will be here. Well... It'll probably be already be out by the time you see this video, and it's a little different than what we're used to, but it's definitely a family-friendly, fun game, and we're excited to check it out. So, all right, we're making our way to the next puzzle, which happens to be really simple. Just follow your way over to this back little corner over here. There's a few things you need to take out. Little dance lessons will happily take care of all that stuff. Cha, cha, cha. And look at that. We've got a little uh, pile of them stinky bits. So we got Black Panther. We're going to go ahead and use his claw to rip open that gold brick and collect it to move on to number four. 
All right, I keep pulling out Triton. So here's a little fun tip for you. In the race that we have, as well as just simply moving around underwater, Triton seems to move at a rate that is maybe double the speed of everyone else. Now, there may be a couple of characters that can also move like this underwater, but I didn't really spend much time looking. I just knew that Triton got the job done, and why not just use him? So, all right, next up, gold brick number four for solving puzzle number four. This one is pretty simple, too. You just got to find the main entrance here, and you'll know you found it once you see Buddy swimming around, kind of taking a peek at it. We also have a Doctor Strange point that we can hop onto. You can see I switched on over. I wanted to keep my fast swimmer here because... Uh, well, I didn't want to play musical characters, so I'm going to go ahead and switch on over to Doctor Strange and carve out the square. I love that one. That's my favorite one out of them all. It's the easiest. I don't think there's a triangle. So I think just the four straight sides is the easiest it gets. But, all right, this one was kind of confusing once we got in here. So there's a gold brick off to the left. We do not have the ability to smash that stuff. However, we uh, smash everything else, and we find this digging spot that inside there's a treasure chest. Inside that treasure chest is this weird ball. I, I didn't quite understand this. I think, I think it's some sort of, like... Um, I don't want to say like a ghost, but I think it's something like that. It's some sort of energy ball. And, and I'm sure you guys probably know and will leave me a comment down below in the video description. That'll be super helpful as I have no idea what that really is. And as you can see, I've lost it. It has disappeared. So we use the telekinetic powers of Doctor Strange to go ahead and manipulate it. And it, it like totally went off and hit on us. So we got to come towards the screen and leave this a little bit. But we find another digging spot. So switch on over to your favorite character with a digging ability and get your dig on. And there it is. But we need that telekinesis again. So it's a lot of back and forth. Of course, we use the telekinetic powers and it takes off again. Oh, no. And it busts open some bricks that will build up into a grapple plug. And then we just need somebody with the grappling ability, which luckily for us, Doctor Strange can get her done. So we'll rip that on down, but not quite as it reveals that ball, but does not pull it down. Telekinesis will do it, though, and it bounces off everything in here. This reminds me of, uh, of when I was a kid, when my parents weren't home. You know, you used to be able to go to, like, anywhere where there was quarter machines, and you could throw a quarter in and get a bouncy ball. And I'd get, like, 3 or $4.00 and change them out and get like eight or 16 of those. And I would just come home with a handful. They were bouncing all over the place. We had a big kitchen and, uh, you know, hardwood floors and all that stuff. So it was actually quite crazy in there. So, uh, Dad, if you're listening, uh, yeah, it was me that broke that light. And I apologize for not being honest about it. So hopefully Dad wasn't listening and hopefully I don't get grounded for that because that is some old school stuff. There's got to be some sort of like moratorium on that, right? where I don't get in trouble for something I did a long time ago. Kids, don't hold your breath, though. That doesn't apply to everything. All right, puzzle number five is actually a sequence of switches that needs to be flipped. They're all really close to where the gold brick itself is and right where the icon on your map should be. However, there's a few things I recommend doing first. As you can see, I already flipped the switch and kind of hosed myself on getting it on my first attempt. Now, good thing for us, it's not like a slam dunk contest or anything where you have to do it on your first attempt or you don't get the full points. It turns out that you just got to get them all within the allotted time and you get plenty of chances to go ahead and retry things. So uh, basically, up top, use a strong character to rip off the green handle, which we did a minute ago and found our first switch. The second one is going to require Iron Fist to go ahead and charge up his chi and power up that dragon. Now, the third one is going to be right there under the place where we started with up top. And the fourth one is going to be right around the corner from both the one we just saw and the one we started from. So, bust open the wall, the cracked wall. You're going to definitely want to use your chi ability to power up and open the door. And you're going to want to use the strong handle up top to go ahead and rip that off, too. So, now that we got all four switches revealed, we'll go ahead and swim around and get them all flipped on down. That's right. Last one is going to be up top. It's actually the first one we found, which is the strong handle one. So, you know, you might be able to, they might have given you enough time to get all of them in one run. And I'm sure at least one of you will comment down below, oh, I didn't need to do it like you. I got it all in one. There's always one person that just has to show me up, which is fine. I, I am certainly not the greatest at these games. I admit all the time at my fault. Uh, but the the real factor is is that my goal is to help you guys and have fun while doing it and you know hopefully we're accomplishing that with each and every video 
All right, next up, puzzle number six, a.k.a. Gold Brick number six. This one is kind of a doozy toozy. I, okay, so there's another edit coming up. This one revolves around some more switches. The switches are all locally close by. However, they're not super obvious, and I kind of swim the same route three or four times and miss out on what I needed to find. So, all right, follow your map all the way inside the building and off to the right-hand side. When you enter, you're going to find some glowing glass. Go ahead and use the sonar ability or the black belt, I mean bolt, to go ahead and bust open that glass and rebuild the pieces into a switch, which happens to be one, I believe, of four switches. You can see there was another one just inside the doorway to our left when we came in. So we've got two switches discovered. However, we need at least four. I, I think it's four. So I'll flip this, and you can see each switch you flip, this one is not time-dependent, so that's handy. However, each one removes one of the laser beams that is preventing us from getting inside. So you can see we've got two of them off, and we still have two left. So we just got to go around and find those guys. As it turns out, they are, like I said, really close right outside and around the way. I thought this was going to be like a secret tunnel somewhere. Fool you. It goes nowhere. And here we are. We're right at the beginning. So there was an edit there. Up top in the same area, there's a chandelier glowing. Go ahead and target that and bust it on down and build up switch number three. So we'll go ahead and flip that bad boy and remove one more set of laser beams that reveals that we only need one more. Now, this next guy is actually really close to, I thought for sure it was going to be another chandelier, but no luck in here. We actually have to go out and around uh, to the right, I believe it is. So let's go out the door we came in and over to the right. Oh, yeah, that's right. We got we to gotta switch on over to Triton. Because these are so much faster, even though we're, we're walking. Oh, look at that! Right outside the door around the corner. We need the sonar ability. So switch on over to somebody that can get their... On, that's right. We'll go ahead and shatter that glass and rip that switch down, revealing our gold brick up above us. Now we just have to swim up and collect it. And guess what, guys? We only got two more puzzles. Uh, we got a freely, freely, freely. And, of course, we got the race that's going to give us the one and only character token we find in this area. So, uh, yeah, buddy, yeah, buddy. So, let's see here. The, the, the puzzle that I hate the worst is coming up right after this one. So, this one was another doozy. There, there's a boat with a bunch of green sludge on the ground. I thought for sure we were going to need the uh, either the Hulk or She-Hulk to go ahead and sort through that. But it turns out we have to follow this rope all the way up top. And there's a boat up there. And that boat actually has a couple of things we need to do in order to use the grappler to actually uh, pull that all the way up. So it actually does most of the dirty work for us. We just need to get up top there and get our beeble wobble weeble woon. Or, you know what? It's time to get our techno on. That's right. We got a techno panel up top. Spam the buttons accordingly, and it should, whoa, ruin. I thought we were going to use that crane. Turns out it doesn't. It drops it all on tops it. And what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? We got a gold brick. Is it going to open it up? No. Come on. We got to do something else now? That should have been enough. Realistically, there is one more thing we need to do. And you have to smash the stuff in the green. And it should give you some buildable bricks. Now, so we do need She-Hulk. I guess you don't really need to. You could have targeted those bricks. And, oh, look at that. We got ourselves some gravity booster bricks. Build them up, and of course, we're going to switch on over to Star-Lord and drop that booster right on the center. Look at that. It actually auto-selected him, so that recent update must have corrected that. Oh, smacked me right in the back of the noggin there. Did you see that? Next time, I'll be sure to get out of the way, but hey, look at that. We've got our gold brick anyway. We're going to swim up to the worst puzzle in this game. No, I'm just kidding. It's not that bad if you know what you're doing, and guess what? Luckily you, I'm going to show you how to solve this right now. It's important to note, though, you have to start the puzzle from scratch. If you have broken off the silver panels that I'm about to break off swim out to like Manhattan or somewhere far away like Xandar and then swim right back here and it should reset the puzzle once you do that you're gonna want to bust open the bottom left silver and you're gonna actually flip the switch okay now it's gonna drop us down below because there's nothing to stand on and you know there's there's a goal here basically we gotta get all these switches turned on at the same time but when you press a switch it actually affects the ones around it now I tried to figure it out I tried to get it all dialed in and get the you know when you press this this happens just follow what I'm doing bottom left top left bot or sorry top right boom so done deal 
I spent 40 plus minutes, I'm not even kidding, 40 plus minutes trying to solve this puzzle. At least 25 or 30 attempts were given, and each time I had to fly out and then fly back and reset the puzzle. And there was a few times I didn't do that. I stayed there for three or four or five minutes. So, oh my gosh. All I can say is bottom left, top left, high right. Boom. You're welcome. And uh, if you need any more uh, questions answered regarding that, feel free to ask me on Facebook, Twitter, or simply comment down below as well. All right, so we got Mr. Lee over here, and he is not so free. Looks like we've got to do some multi. I, see, I saw that green vine there, and I thought for sure we were going to need somebody like, you know, Gamora or Black Panther to go ahead and use their claws or swords or whatever and rip through that vine. Turns out that's not the case yet. We actually have to melt off this piece and get inside. Now, once we're inside, we're going to have to do just that. So I was right, but there's a two-step process. We'll go ahead and cha-cha, cha-cha, rip open that off with our ca-ca, ca-ca, and uh, why not? Ca-ca! I just figured we might as well throw that in, huh? Might as well. So Stan Lee is free, Excelsior, and we got that gold brick forevermore. Next up, we got a Hulkling character token available for a race. Now, ooh, it's a race. I hope I win. Now, in order to help speed things up for you and me, I highly recommend Triton. As I've already mentioned, he has the extra speed whilst swimming, and, you know, in fact, he's too fast. I had to do the race over because I kept overshooting that first ring. He just launches off that starting gate so fast and so far, it's a real trick to get down there. Look at that. See, he's so fast, he zooms right on by these rings. And Buddy has enough time to turn around and collect everything. So that's good. And, you know, that is actually going to be it for all of our collectibles. So once you successfully complete this race, you have completed another one of our free roam areas. And looking at my list here, we only have one, two, three, four, five, six. We only have six more free roams. That is a pretty good feeling. So not quite the home stretch, but we're getting awfully close. And look at this. How random is this? I did not plan this. I had no idea the race was going to end right where we started. So, you know, hey, we uh, we wrapped it all up. We got everything in Lemuria. And oh, to the yeah, that's going to complete LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2 Lemuria Free Roam. And, you know, it was pretty easy with the help of me, I guess. Uh, there was a few of these puzzles that I struggle with, and I'm assuming that they might be a little bit troublesome for some of you. But if not, hey, go ahead and drop a comment down below and let me know how awesome you are at this game, because there's always a few of you. Anyways, much love to all you guys. I appreciate all your support. We're going to go ahead and keep on keeping on. So, as always, until next time, see ya.